All right, back in the day when I was a kid in like the 1890s, there was a commercial on TV that was talking about cheese, and the best cheese comes from happy cows. So C-O-W, we have California, Oregon, Washington. The best cheeses come from California cows. Check, cow, three states, boom, roasted. Next, right here, we all know this is Nevada, but how can we remember that is in this border right down here, there's a chip missing. And why is there a chip missing in the border of Nevada? Because all the chips are in Las Vegas right over here. So if you see a state with a chip missing, that's Nevada. And hey, you just gotta know Nevada's right next to California. That's why your parents go to Vegas all the time and leave you with the babysitter. Now, oh, I shouldn't have said that. Next, we have the four corner states over here. U-C-A-N. I used to play Connect Four with my siblings and I hated losing my sister because I'd always get caught up and then I'd realize, you know what, in Connect Four, you can't win in a box shape. It has to be a row, so you can't win Connect Four like that. You also can't, you can't see, you can't forget how hot Texas is. I have other more offensive things to say about Texas, like you can't forget how fat, how Texas stole their territory from someone else that we'll learn about in chapter 10. Biggest problem for students is how do we remember this funky shaped one? Look at this. It's like the letter U. If you turn that upside down, it's got that funky thing sticking up there. So does Utah. Utah's got the funky thing because they need enough room for that great salt lake. So anywho, we have U-C-A-N-T. If you can't remember what to call it, well we know that's Utah and Colorado's right here. So call it what it is. You can't forget how terrible Texas is. I love Montana, but just for the sake of this, let's just pretend that there's some interesting people in Montana. And let's just say there's like that one white guy that thinks he's Jamaican, he's gonna be the next great white rapper and he's growing dreadlocks. That would be pretty creepy if that guy was staring at you. Right, Mon? So we've got the creepy guy over here saying, hey Mon, why? See this box state right here? Why are you staring at Ida? Or Idaho. Why are you being creepy, Mon? Why are you staring at Ida? We've got Wyoming, Idaho, Montana. Why are you staring at Idaho, Mon? People in Montana think interesting things about these two states. See, it's got question marks all around it. People in Montana make fun of people in these two states. Why would you, not why here, but why would you want to live here? It's a no duh answer because this is North Dakota. Sorry, Dakotans, but it's not the greatest states in the world. And, and South Dakota. Duh. Technically, I should spell that with an, a U-H, but anyways, we've got North and South Dakota. They're the duh states. No offense. Now, over here, we've got a panhandle. I'm going to color that in blue. I don't know if that looks good or not, but we've got the panhandle of Oklahoma. Panhandle of Oklahoma, so it's okay. So there's a new can, candles decay, new can of corn in the pan, okay? Nebraska, Kansas, Oklahoma. And speaking of food, that takes us to our chef. It's Chef... Mamal, M-I-M-A-L. So Minnesota is the hat. A, it also looks like a crushed mini soda can. Get it, Minnesota? But it looks like a chef's hat. Here's Iowa, it's his face, he's got a big schnoz, and an eyeball would be right about here. Mamal, M in the middle is Missouri. Missouri's the show me state. A good chef is always gonna show you how chubby they are because they've got delicious food. Next comes the forgotten state, except for Bill Clinton, he always remembers where he's from, Arkansas. Everyone always forgets it. The only thing I can say is it looks like the front of a ship, and the most famous ship in biblical history for those Puritans that came over it was an ark. So I'm gonna call this Arkansas and think of the front of an ark that came over. You just have to remember M-I-M-A and the last one L. This chef is a wonderful chef. He does French fusion cooking because his roots are in Louisiana, which used to be a French territory named after King Louis. Chef Amal is a wonderful French chef. He's gonna take on an American classic because this right here is Kentucky Fried Chicken. Kentucky, it looks like a drumstick. And what do you wanna put a hot piece of greasy chicken on? On a tray. Better be made out of metal, so make sure it's a tin tray. Get it? Sounds like tin, but it's a tin tray. If you've got a hot tray of food, you're probably gonna want some mittens. In fact, you might be wishing for mittens. So Wisconsin, Michigan, they look like hands, see? That takes the last thing. I said my mom was a good chef, eh, he's got some trouble. He was gonna serve his girlfriends, we gotta count how many girlfriends he has later. But over here, 
he made a key mistake, he undercooked it, and what happens when you eat bad chicken? You're gonna barf all over the place. So he's gonna get ill in, people always forget the in part, you get ill in, oh, Ohio. Ohio already kind of looks like barf, and there we go, ill in Ohio, Illinois, Indiana, Ohio. Everyone got it? Great, check. Now for Mamal's girlfriend. I never recommend having more than one girlfriend at a time because even this state, this state, this state, this state, this state, and technically this one as well, have lady names. This is Georgia. Let's just stick with these ones. Right here we have the Ah Ladies, Carolina. We've got South, we've got North Carolina. Then we've got Virginia. Ah. We've got Virginia and over here, West Virginia. Our last lady state is Mary land. Don't throw up on Mary. It's okay to throw up on West Virginia. But my mom was serving. What did Della wear to this fancy dinner? She wore a New Jersey dress. The other thing that I like to say about New Jersey, because I don't like New Jersey, AKA look at Jersey Shore, it looks like a bizarro California. California is big and wonderful and we're fantastic people. Jersey is Jersey Shore mafiosas. So look, it's a smaller, backwards, flip-flop, bizarro California. So I remember that about New Jersey. That takes me to this wonderful group over here. And this one, it is the South, they have a lot of them. They've got guns. And what goes in the bottom handle part of a gun? People are gonna ruin me for that, but oh well. The mag. So in the Florida gun, you've got your Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia. That's the magazine or the clip that goes in the Florida gun. Ooh, it's starting to make sense now. Last couple states. This one just looks kind of boring. It looks like a big box. Students always have boxes. They've got a pencil box. And just so unique, Pens, Sylvania, means Pens Woods. So what it's made out of wood, pencils, pencil box. Look at that, it looks like a pencil box. This thing right here, it looks like the Statue of Liberty if it got tipped over and knocked over and broken by an eighth grader. This is New York where the Statue of Liberty is. Over here, we've got V, N, M. There are no venomous snakes in Maine because it's too cold. Here we have this wonderful little state that's got this funky hook over here. It's a hook, so what you wanna do is hook a bass in mass. Technically you wanna hook a cod because that's Cape Cod in there, but there is our wonderful feature of Massachusetts. That's easy to remember. The last little guys to take care of is this tiny little guy is not technically an island. It's called Rhode Island, but it's not an island because it's connecticuted to New York and Long Island. So Connecticut connects the islands. Don't forget Hawaii, wonderful. And remember, Alaska definitely just lives in a box over here in the Pacific Ocean.